Hello everyone. Welcome back to next Selenium tutorial. So today we are going to see the XPath method contains. So this is very useful to work with the dynamic XPath. Say for example, uh, if the uh, HTML element is generated with dynamic attributes like this. Say for example, 3 to 3 is a dynamic one and the last four digit is a dynamic one. Only in the middle part user is constant. Right. So in that case, we can use contains method and uh, this user if you are giving as attribute name then it will be useful for dynamically generated ux path and the same way for display text also we can use it if there is any dynamically generated display text right in the same way so there are two different syntax that we can use for this contains method so that is starts with for double forward slash and the tag name and within a square brackets we have to give contains method so this contains method we can use it in two different way one is we can work with attribute another one is we can work with display text so to work with attribute we have to start with at the rate and attribute what is the value for display text we have to give text method and what is the display text right let's see some practical examples so let's take this uh, salesforce uh, login page uh, inspect this page and press ctrl f or press f12 in your keyboard Let's check this forgot your password link all right uh, so this particular link has display text forgot your password and id has this and the class has this and href has this so let's take this um, as an example uh, so it, it starts with double forward slash with anchor thread and within double square bracket we have to give contains method so within parenthesis to work with attribute we have to give at the rate what is the attribute we have to work with comma within double single quotes we have to give what is the text this particular attribute has so it has forgot password link and we can see right underscore as well so we can give anything say for example i am going to give underscore so it has four or uh, four uh, x part with this so i am going to give uh, your so it doesn't have anything right so because it is not having your so let's give a link so it has four so let's give forget right so it is coming up so you can give any values within this particular id attribute so this is the one of one way that contents method will be useful using your attribute method so let's give this in uh, uh, javascript so i have already written this class for the simplicity so i have given this right so the what's the another way is so another way is we have to use the display text right with contains method so to use that we don't we should not use at the rate so we can use directly text method which we have already discussed how to use text method so what is the text it has uh, it has anything like forgot is having so we can see over here it is it is finding one of one right and it, it has your also so it is a case sensitive so we have to use exactly the same if you are using so for your it is a giving one on one right so if you are giving this one lower case it will not find right so you can give any substring uh, which is having the display text we can see over here and password also so anything anything is fine uh, so any substring within this any 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 combination any index you can give it will work right so let's try uh, running this so it has to maximize and it has to click on forgot your password link it is click forgot your password link and it has come to this page right and it has to close up so that is the using attribute uh, uh, attribute values for contents method let's try running this let's try something uh, which throws exception so i'm going to give uh, instead of caps i'm going to give smaller case so it, it should not work and it has to throw no such element exception over here because we have given the wrong x path over here right because uppercase and lowercase matters in x path right so it is not clicking still it is waiting and it should be closed with no such element exception just to throw after 10 seconds of empty zip wait right can give uh, can see why no such element exception isn't it 
so that is the another way of working with uh, your no such element exception right let's try running with write xpath for this contains text and it has to click now right it is clicked on forget your password link right so this is the uh, another method that contains hope this session was helpful guys thanks for watching